Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the equation of a polynomial uh, other than a quadratic, so like a cubic or a quartic, uh, from a graph. So we, I got a graph here. First of all, I recognize the shape. Uh, it's a W shape. So that means that it must be a quartic. So if I look at this thing, it should have um, essentially four roots or four solutions. So that means I could have less than that in x-intercepts, but I must have uh, four roots altogether. So if I look here, I have one at negative 3. I have another one at negative 1, and then I have what's called a double root at 2. So I know it's a double root because it comes down and it bounces off the x-axis. That's how I know it's a double root. So what I generally do is I list out my x-intercepts for this. So my x-intercepts are, so we just listed them out, so negative 3, negative 1, and 2. So from that, I want to be able to write my factors. So I'll generally write them like this. So my factors are this. So from 3, or negative 3, I get x plus 3. So remember, your factors are always the opposite signs of your x-intercepts. From negative 1, I get x plus 1. And from 2, being that it's a double root, I have x minus 2, the opposite sign. Let me uh, fix that up a bit. Oops. So I have x minus 2. And then that, because it's a double root, I have to add the squared there. So if I want to find the equation of this guy, I'll write it as, the only thing I don't know is what my leading coefficient is, so a. So I'll write out my factors, just like this. And again, there's no real particular order to do it. I just you know list them out. Usually I'll put my squareds and my cubes if there's any last. The next thing I need to do is I need to figure out this a value. So what I usually do is I look for a point on the graph. Usually the y-intercept is usually a good candidate. So that y-intercept is 0, 6. Now you can find another point on the graph. This one looks like a pretty good point. You don't want to use an x-intercept. You want to use another point besides the x-intercepts. So what we do is we plug this in. And we solve for a. So I have 0 plus 3. 0 plus 1, and then 0 minus 2 squared. So what I have is 6 is equal to a, and I have 3, 1, and then negative 2 squared. So that's going to be 4 times 3, so that's actually 12. So I have 6 is equal to 12a, divide both sides by 12. I have a is equal to 1 over 2. So now I can write my my equation. So I don't need to like distribute this out or anything, guys. I just need to write this. This is the equation. Um, I mean, it's not the, you know, it's not what we're used to seeing. A lot of times we're used to seeing, um, you know, in expanded form. But it, if it's just asking for the equation, it's not asking for us to expand it. Why take the risk and expanding it? Especially in a test, if you don't have to, it's a complete waste of time. Plus, you could mess it up, right? So this is my equation. If I graph that guy now on my TI calculator, should get something that looks just like that. All right, guys. Hope this helps you try to figure out how to write the equation of a polynomial given this graph. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in class.